What up, everybody? It's your boy, the Art Chemist. And right now, I'm just chilling on here to see if anybody gets on. I got one viewer, which I think I know who that is. But I'm just going to go over some of the stuff that I picked up at New York Comic Con and stuff we went through, um, which was a cool show. So just chill with me for a minute. Uh, I can't put no music because then I'll get a, what is it, a check or whatever. But yeah, just chill for a minute. If you're in the chat, just say what's up. <clears throat> And then we're gonna get this thing going, man. No. While you wait, you can play some music in your head. What up, Joe? 4771. It was goody. Thanks for the thumbs up, everybody. Uh, so while everybody's here chilling, let me show you some artwork that I did the other day. I'm doing Inktober, so every day I'm trying to do a sketch. I missed a few days, so I gotta rewind and do a few ones. I mean, a few other ones. And then tomorrow after work, I'm going to like catch up and then do today's um, topic. And then I'm going to do tomorrow's as well. So right here, this was for a swing. So I did Tarzan, baby Tarzan, and grown Tarzan. And I did that. And that was for Inktober, day nine. And then tomorrow I'll do 10 and 11. Uh, let me see. Then for everybody who else is going to catch us on the rewind, I got, I uh, can't put that up because I don't want to show my info, but yeah. You know, your boy got a, you know, I'm official now. You know, I can put my artwork on CGC. You know, you got that going. But yeah, I'm gonna take my time today, go through everything. Um, so Comic Con was a hit, man. Everything was fun. Kind of felt like working. It was uh crazy, you know, jumping around, running around, going left and right. But uh Thursday after I mean Tuesday after work, went to uh the con and I picked up my badges uh for Thursday and Friday. So Thursday came along, uh, me and my wife went, no, I went Thursday, and when I got there, I went toward the uh, Diamond uh, Diamond Direct Breakfast. I bumped into Jim Mint and uh, said what's up to him. After that, I went into um, the one A-hole, went into the uh, meeting, and that was quite cool for the first time. Uh, Let's see, they had a lot of uh, information about all the new things coming out, all the movie speculations that are coming out. Well, not speculations, actually movies that are coming out for the following year. Uh, comic titles from every distributor. Um, so you had Marvel, you had Dark Horse, uh, Image, uh, DC, and Dark Horse, and uh, another com company called uh, Titan Comics. And those guys were freaking hilarious. So yeah, after that, uh, after that meeting, went around. I bumped into uh, Jeff. I bumped into uh, who else? Uh, Barry Gary, Jim Minton again, and I bumped into one of my uh, one of my guys from my LCS, and that was quite cool. So after that, I just started going around getting signatures and stuff, and I'll show that later on uh, in a minute. So after I did that, uh, Friday came along, and that's when I went with my wife. You know, shout out to my wife because me and her were just grinding, running around. First thing we did on Friday, we went on, ran to Image first thing, you know, ran to the Image booth and got our uh, badges for Todd McFarlane. I mean, not a badge, sorry, uh, um, wristbands for Todd McFarlane. And then after that, we got on the line later on in that day. And then, uh, so when we did that, uh, we got the badges, we went from there, went to Entertainment Earth and picked up some Funko. So I got this Funko from Entertainment Earth. I'll show you what that so far. I got this one that I won on the lotto, which was the 
20th anniversary of The Rock Live, which I actually won by mistake because I was trying to sign up for the Batman. And I got that. And I also bought this while I was on there. You know, the purple Joker. I was trying to get the green one, but that was only through the lottery. And then this one was the coolest one that I got to me was the uh, Walmart exclusive, but also Comic Con exclusive, Darth Vader. That I got. And this might go up for sale later on. I don't know. Thinking about keeping it, thinking about selling it. I'm on the fence with that. So, yeah. Um, so, those were the um, things that I got from the Entertainment Earth booth, uh, which was very cool. And when we was online there, my wife was on her phone because they had like a app where you could go and like sign in after you won. So while you was on there, uh, they had a, a raffle for Jim Lee and like two two other artists, which I don't remember. And like I didn't get to get the raffle. I didn't want the raffle for the Jim Lee. So when we was on the Entertainment Earth website, um, we both signed up. So we ended up going to Todd McFarlane's line, waiting forever. And in the middle of us waiting there, she wins the lotto. So she tells me, you know, take the take my phone, you know, take my information and go to the line and try to get the signature. So she stays on the line. She keeps two books for me. And I run to Entertainment Earth and I get online over there. So as soon as I get, online, um, I get over there, by like at least like 15 people already online plus me. And then people start lining up behind me. So as I'm waiting, uh, that's when I bump into uh, Manny NYC. And he chills on the line with me for a while. And we're just waiting there, waiting there. And then fast forward, you see Jim Lee coming through. And, you know, a few of us started cheering. Other people were just there quiet. And that was fun. So we got a few books signed. I only had one book. I had my Wildcats, which I sent out for grading. Um, and that'll come, I don't know how long. Thanks to BLC. Well, I'll talk about that later. So we go on that line. I get a book signed. Manny gets, a, a, I think, two books signed. And then while we were waiting online, we had bumped into uh, Jeff Johnson, the mayor of the New York Warriors. Check him out. And, um, you know, he talked to us for a minute. Then after that, the line started moving. So my wife called me. She told me that the Tom McFarlane line was moving very fast. So by the time I got my signature from uh, Jim Lee, uh, Highlight Share already finished the line. So after I finished getting my signature, I went to that line, and then I told them that I had the 2.30 um, band. It'd be okay if I get on the 3 o'clock. They were like, yeah, no problem. So I got on there, and then I got two more um, signatures. So this is my first time actually meeting uh, Todd McFarlane and um, Jim Lee. And both of the guys were super cool, man. So if you guys haven't met them, I suggest you do because they're very nice guys, you know, and great artists. So anyway, enough of that, you know. Kind of was super cool. You know, I got a lot of stuff uh, signed. I was basically, like, running around. We were all basically running around trying to get signatures and exclusives, you know. A lot of things I didn't know about, like the gold spawn, the silver spawn. I found out about that in the con. And I wasn't going to go crazy running for that. You know, if I bumped into it, I bumped into it. If not, then I didn't. You know, that's that's what it is. But, yeah, they, they were cool. But I think a lot of people just bought them just for the hype of reselling them. But, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, let's go through some of the books. Enough for the con, man. The con was super great. You know, I had a lot of fun. I met up with a lot of the guys. Shout outs to BLC, Big Lion Cat, uh, 646. Guys, never checked his channel out. Check it out. Uh, he took a, a few books for me and uh, got them graded for me at uh, CGC because I had to run back to work. So he actually did me a big favor and took the books for me and um, graded them. So I was super hyped about that. Um, I also had met up with, um, let's see, Manny NYC. A lot of the times I bumped into him most of the time at the con. And uh, Jeff, Jeff, me and Jeff were actually chilling. That shit was hilarious. We were at Artist Alley. And the funniest thing was when he went and, and he got some of his books out for uh, Art Germ. And 
Arjun was just sitting there and he tried to get like four books on. He's like, nah, nah, you know what? Uh, come back, come back later because I'm I'm busy right now. You know, just come back and I'll sign your books. Meanwhile, he wasn't doing anything, but that was hilarious, you know. But he ended up getting his book signed later on that day or the next day. I'm not sure exactly, but check out his channel. He'll tell you all about his um, experience at Comic Con. But after that, I forgot how everything happened. Everything was so, such a blur because everything happened so fast. But, you know, shout out to my wife because she helped me out with a lot of the signatures and we were just running around having fun. You know, she wasn't feeling well either, but, you know, she, you know, she stuck it out and she, she hung out with me. So shout outs to her. But anyway, let's go through the books that I have, man. This is Comic Hall, Comic Con. Enough for Comic Con. Let's get to the hall. Um, so got a lot of books to show you guys. Give me one second. All right. So we have that Spawn 301. And I'm not going to say every title, but yeah, Spawn 301. And I got a couple of covers, you know. You already know what this cover is, you know. Swipe. Crown. And I have multiple, so if you guys need them, let me know. Hit me up. Yeah, I have multiple copies. This one, I, this one I don't have multiple copies of. I only have two, and that's all I have. But yeah, yeah, that Doom, Doctor Doom, number one, you know, fire copy. I also got another, other spawn. Uh, let's see, there's Absolute Carnage, Amazing Spider-Man, thirty-one. Let's see, you're the villain. Let's see, I will jump to 16. Great cover. This cover is fire, man. A lot of artwork in this. And this one, you have Miles Morales, uh, Spider Man 11, with Mary Jane. Another 301, the Greg Capullo cover. Let's see. Uh, I got this right here from a, uh, a auction by, from Game Swappers. So you got Micronauts 3, Micronauts 2, and I got this uh, uh, Star Wars number 4. Now I got this uh, Joker Harley Quinn Criminal uh, Sanity magazine size. This, this is cool. Nice read. Artwork in here is awesome. Check it out. You know, it kind of looks super real, but I don't want to mess it up for anybody, but check it out. That's a good book. Let's see. Uh, another good read. I actually read this. And uh, shout out to uh, Biggie, Biggie's Comics from New York Warriors and my dude, Thorough Q Burrow. These guys are always telling me to crack open my comics, even though I like to collect them, but read them. And man, this one right here was a freaking awesome read. The Shazam Who Laughs. And I have to pick up the one from this week. I didn't get it yet, but this is a freaking hilarious and good story at the same time. And the artwork is awesome. So if you get a chance, check out the Shazam Who Laughs. It's a good read, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're the villain of the one thousand um, action comics, one thousand fifteen, with Naomi in the cover, Superman and Batman. It's a good book. Oh, what else? All right. Give me one second, though. A couple other books here that I have to show you guys. I guess a lot of books. Shit. Uh, 
All right, give me a minute. I uh, also got this. This one I got from Midtown Comics. And I actually can't. I want to actually save this to get it signed by J.J. Abrams and his son. It was a good book. Let's see. Got this. I also got this uh, Spider Woman. And this is um, numbered at uh, 1,950 out of 2,000. So it's quite up there, but I got this. You know, this is one of the it's Marvel exclusives. It was a good book to get. Um, I do a big BLC, brought this down for my wife. You know, this is the free comic book Batman book. He's a big Batman fan. Shout out to my dude BLC, man. All right, so this is one of the uh, Diamond the, the Diamond Direct exclusives. So this is the Power Rangers crossover Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But this one has the size instead of the katanas. And now they didn't get to get it signed by the Red Ranger, with it, which is, uh, I forgot his name, but yeah, the original Red Ranger. I just can't remember his name right now. But yeah, I didn't get to meet him. I have Dead Eyes. That was another exclusive they had at the meeting. Uh, flash forward, number one. You gotta read this, I haven't had a chance to. I got Bloodshot 2. Uh, there's supposed to be a movie coming out for this, coming out soon. So you guys got to run around, get your number ones, you know. I don't have the number ones. I so, I got rid of those a long time ago, but yeah. This Blade Runner 2019. Nice artwork. I still haven't seen the interior, but yeah. And then you have this Grendel cover. And this Jenny Frizen, Some, Something's Killing the Children cover, which is an awesome cover. And then right here you have the Ghost Rider. So this one right here, I got signed by uh, Aaron Cooter. Cool dude, he was there with his wife, he was quite tired. But yeah, if you ever get a chance, check him out on YouTube or on uh, Google. You can check his artwork out. It's quite cool. Uh, give me a second. Let's see. And this is another variant that they had. I mean, that's very exclusive. Sorry. Um, the Ghost Rider, the Glow in the Dark, and I got this signed by Philip Tan. So you can check it out. I also got a picture of it on Instagram. So you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it. And then at the bottom, he signed his name right there. So this is a cool book. I knew nobody was going to get this done by him. So, yeah, you guys see it, you know, the first one who did it. Yeah. I'll put this on the side over here. I also bumped into uh, Jeffrey Comic-Con and my dude, uh, Comic Book NYC. Those are two cool guys. So you guys don't follow them. Check their channels out. Um, they were super cool, man. They were actually collecting a lot of crazy stuff, man. They were collecting uh, uh, lower print issues of Hulk. Uh, they were getting custom artwork. Not custom artwork, sorry. Official, uh, original artwork at an auction. Uh, they were picking up a lot of cool stuff. But yeah, check them out. Those are two cool guys, man. Um, those two guys that also don't sleep, just like me and my boy Thorough, you know, we're night owl, stay up all night. Uh, let's see, let's go to some other books. Also, kind of, bunk, I went to a comic exposure. Now, comic exposure, I spoke to the guys who, um, the guy who owns that company, and I told him he was getting a lot of heat. Uh, so, you know, social media and on YouTube because they don't really answer a lot of their emails or their phone calls or whatever. Or send out their books on time, but they were actually a cool group of people, man. It's a family-owned business, um, and they actually had all their books on the table. I actually thought it was a fake company, but yeah. So I got this up from there. The Comic Exposure, Fantastic Four, fifteen. So yeah, that was one of the exclusives that I got from their table. Um, 
Let's see. What else did I get? Um, from that table, I can't remember. I also bumped into uh, JP's table, uh, the comic, uh, the Spider-Man booth, which was all right. I picked up two boxes. It wasn't that great. You know, they're still cool people or whatever, but eh, the books were all right. You know, I'll show you. I got from two boxes. So he had a special, it was, uh, one box for 30, two, box, two boxes for 50. So I'll show you the books that came out of there. No, that's not one of them. All right, here you go. So there's another book that I got. I actually got that signed, but I'll show you. So you got this right here, the hip-hop variants. But this is actually not a hip-hop variant. This is actually a, a rock, if you want to call it, a variant from the Nirvana cover. Um, we got this right here. I forgot the title for this. But the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I also got... Uh, what's this? Nitrogen number one, which is like, ah, eh. it's not, it's not none of my flavor, man. I just got it. It's gonna be there in the collection, but yeah. Uh, which play? My wife is a fan of which play, so this is going her collection. But I wasn't hyper about it. Uh, this one was actually cool. Shutter goes to hell. It's a nice cover. Forgot to get it signed. Uh, this is another cool cover that was in there. It was uh, Batman Turtles Adventures. Uh, this one was, uh, I forgot the number, but it was uh, Renew Your Vows, Amazing Spider-Man. I just forgot the number, though. And Amazing Spider-Man 20, which is not another cover that I don't, I don't really like, but I'm a collector of Amazing Spider-Man, so. This is going to go in the collection. Uh, so then I also got this at the show, which is a facsimile of the 252, maybe Spider-Man 252. I'm going to get the original, but I haven't got a chance to it. I've been too busy, but I am going to get the original. I also got this, the major Spider-Man. Uh, number six, we need your vows also. We got that at the con. Uh, now, this one I got for free from the DC booth. When you went downstairs to the DC booth, they were doing a whole bunch of things, which is something they need to do better on the con, I think, announcing a lot of stuff. I was finding out stuff by mistake. But yeah, got this cover right here. Signed by the artist, which I forgot his name was, and this gentleman. Uh, don't kill me, you know. I just got it because I seen it. My boy told me to get online. I got on it, and they signed it. That was cool of them. They were two guys. They, they were both nice guys, though. Um, let's see. I bumped into the comic mint table, and I actually got this, which I was super cool. It's Revenge of the Spider-Verse, Spider-Gate Zero. Uh, this is an awesome cover. If you get a chance, go to uh, Comic Mint online. If you like this cover, you can get it on there. You know? But this is a cool cover. I had to get that. No, my wife has the original. I still don't have the original number eight, but I'm going to get it. Um, Scorpion Comics booth. I went there a couple of times to get a few things done. But I got this, man. I had to run and get this. This is actually the book that I seen online and I ran to get, which is Ghost Rider number one. Uh, number that 228 by Delato. So, when I ever get a chance to meet Gabriel Delato, I have this and then a few books that I want from E Rod's auction. Uh, another guy you got a guy's got to check out E Rod 212. He presses books, he always gets exclusives, and that's the ninja of the Comic Con or whatever auction you I mean, not auction any Comic Con you go to, a comic show, and that man is there. You might see him for a second. You might see him for a millisecond, but that man, when he gets in the con, he's there to work and get exclusive signatures and bounce. So I got this cover right here. This is the Harley Quinn, I think, uh, 66. Yeah, Harley Quinn 66 for your cover. Got that. What else? And on to the signatures now. That was a lot of stuff right there. I got a lot of signatures sent off to get um, graded, but 
This stuff that didn't get graded. So we got this she by Billy Tucci. Another cool guy you guys have to meet. Got this from him. Sign. I got my secret secret wars number two. You know, signed by Colin Colin Bun. I didn't get the artist because he wasn't there. But yeah, Colin Bun was there and he was a nice guy. He was there with his wife and they were they were super tired because they had just gotten off the plane. But they were cool people. Uh, Marvel Comics presents number six. Uh, Marvel Comics presents number six. Got that sign by Arthur Adams on the bottom. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one he had signed twice. Cause he had signed it in black when I wanted him to sign it in silver. So he went right over it again. Yeah, I got that signed. And I got it signed. I had another one signed by Arthur Adams. And these are going to get sent out to get graded by CGC as well. And then I got this, which I was super happy about. Ty McFarlane on my uh, Amazing Spider-Man 328. And this book is actually super cool to me because I also won this book from uh, the boy who has seven in one of his uh, um, boxes. And I never met, I, I didn't mention it when I won it, but I was super hyped about it. But I, when I got the boxes, I forgot all about it. But yeah, the boy who has seven, if you guys get a chance, check his channel out too, man. Another cool guy. But yeah. I got this signed by Tom McFarlane, and I was hyped about this. Um, another book that I have won from the Game Swapper was the Micronauts number one, and it was in great condition, man. Got this for a super steal. Almost dropped it. I got this for a super steal. I got it for five bucks with the other books that I showed early in the video. So you guys just tuning in, check it out. But yeah, man, great condition, man. Can't go wrong with that. Um, oh, so on uh, last day of the con was Sunday. You know, I was doing my last round. I was actually running around because I had to work. So went to our gym, and he's telling me he had to come. I had to come back around one or two, which was not happening because I had to go to work and had to be there at twelve. So I got this book right here signed by our gym. Went back to him. I was like, "Yo, can you do me a favor? Do me a quick silence. Sign my book for me." And he did. So yeah, I got this black cat signed by. Um, Art gem. But the one that was super cool was this uh Year the Villain Catwoman 15, but not the regular cover, the for you cover. And this thing is fucking fire, man. This cover right here pops, looks 3D. This shit is awesome. You know, we gotta talk about him. Now this would be even better if I get it signed by Michelle Pfeiffer. But nah. Yeah. Um, this is another book that had one in one of the boxes of the Spider-Man booth box. And um, this is X-23. I forgot what number. Don't kill me. But I got it signed by Lucio Perillo. Cool. Another cool guy. You know, he was at the auction doing his paintings. But, yeah, I got this signed by him right there on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to send this out when I get a chance to send it out for grading as well. And I also got this signed by him, which is uh, Action Comics 15, and Naomi and Superman on the cover. And, man, this is awesome. He signed that right there on top. Mm -hmm. Parilo. Mm -hmm. Got that signed by him. And this is one of his books coming out. is uh, Hellbridge, The Forsaken Number One, coming out soon. I think it's on Kickstarter. Yeah, it is Kickstarter. So, yeah. I'll put in some dough for that. And then uh, my other books that I got signed by Todd McFarlane at the show was uh, my Amazing Spider I mean, my Spider Man one that I had since when I was a little kid, man. And it's still in good condition, you know. And the last book that I got signed was the Spawn 300, signed by uh, Todd McFarlane and what was the other guy? Todd or 
What was that? Uh, I forgot his last name. Hold on. Give me a second. I have my notes. Hmm? Orzgowski. I mean, Oris Ah, uh, Orzowski. Orzowski, something like that. But yeah. But I got this signed by him, by both of them. So yeah, I was super hyped about that. Yeah, man, that was that was the haul, man. That was a cool haul. That was a good Comic Con. Can't wait to do another one, you know. Uh, that's about it. So, what up, man? The Immortal Biggie Shack was good, man. See my dude in the building. Got the belts on the on on the side. But yeah, that was that was it. I also got this, the which was uh, let me see. I also got the this book that they gave out, which is the Marvel Universe book. And they got this, man. This is cool. This is also done by Arthur Adams, the cover. But I have forgotten to get it signed by him. But yeah, this is the, um, what do you call it? I forgot. The book that tells you everything in there, man. But yeah. The program. There you go. The Comic-Con program. Thanks to my wife. But yeah. So I'm gonna save that and probably get it signed by him another time. <laughs> but yeah. And for anybody who's new in here who hasn't seen my artwork, I'll show you again. I mean I gotta get drawing and do some new stuff. But yeah, these are for sale too. So hit me up if you wanna get if you're interested. My Thanos. So this one is actually a tour one, but I'm not telling nobody there's another drawing in here. But yeah, Thanos right here. And another one of my favorites, let me show you my other favorite, is actually this Fred Flintstone Carnage, one of my favorite drawings that I did. And let's see, another one this is uh, another Carnage that was done by me. So yeah, these are for sale. You guys are ever interested, let me know. Hit me up. And then right here, I got this Oracle that I did. Uh, if you guys like He Man, there's the Oracle. This one's actually not for sale. It's already clean. So yeah. But that's some of my stuff, man. So yeah, man, it's your boy the Art Chemist. Carnage is your favorite, Biggie. That's what's up. I keep that in mind, man. Hit me up if you ever want something done. Or you want to buy one of those pieces, let me know. But yeah, man, that was the whole, man. That was the show. You know, it was quite fun. Hopefully, I'll bump into a few of you guys. I bumped into a few people at the show. Uh, but I can't remember everybody's name. Um, but yeah, man. Until uh, next time. Peace, man.